Master the art of slow cooking a pre-cooked ham. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to delve into the art of cooking a pre-cooked ham in a slow cooker. This is a simple, stress-free method that guarantees a juicy, delicious ham every time. A slow cooker is perfect for heating pre-cooked ham because it allows for even and slow heat distribution. Why use a slow cooker? The advantage of using a slow cooker for your pre-cooked ham is its ability to lock in the juices and keep your meat tender and flavorful. It's also a set and forget method, freeing you up to take care of other things around the house. Using a slow cooker ensures a moist and flavorful ham, perfect for any gathering or dinner. What will you need? To cook your pre-cooked ham in a slow cooker, you'll need a pre-cooked ham, your favorite glaze or sauce, a slow cooker remember, your ham should fit comfortably inside the slow cooker. If it's too big, you might need to trim it down. How to cook pre-cooked ham in a slow cooker? To cook your pre-cooked ham in a slow cooker, follow these steps. 1. Place the ham in the slow cooker. If your ham has a flat side, place it facing down. 2. Apply your glaze or sauce. This could be a simple mix of brown sugar and mustard, a honey glaze, or a pineapple glaze. The choice is yours. 3. Cover the slow cooker and set it to low. 4. Cook the ham for 4 to 6 hours. Yes, you heard that right, even though your ham is pre-cooked, you need to heat it slowly to ensure it becomes tender and absorbs the flavors of the glaze. How do you know when it's done? The ham is already cooked, so what you're looking for is for it to heat through and for the flavors to melt. If your ham was refrigerated, it should reach an internal temperature of at least 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius. You can check this with a meat thermometer. But don't worry if you don't have one, as a general rule, aim for 4 to 6 hours of slow cooking on low. That's all there is to it. Slow cooking a pre-cooked ham is straightforward and guarantees a flavorful, juicy dish every time. So, the next time you want to serve ham, remember this method. We hope this video has been helpful. Enjoy your cooking, and most importantly, enjoy your meal.